This thing is pretty big. More like an asteroid than a rock formation. It's 70 kilometers in diameter. Unable to determine mass due to abnormal gravitational fields. Still, these values seem to be rather unusual. I didn't think anything this size could cause such a gravitational disturbance. Gravity roughly 1G around the object. But that seems rather strange. Wait, w what is this? Looks like a large portion of land from somewhere. It could even be the remains of a destructed planet. No, the shape of the underside looks too uniform for that. It appears to have been artificially cut away from its original mass. Multiple unidentified craft are approaching. Tony! Damn it! Is that Ormus? It's nice of them to greet us. to the island to collect data. We can handle these guys ourselves. Little master. Now wait just a second. Is he telling us to go there by ourselves? No way in hell. We don't get any hazard pay. Now go do what you're paid to do! How's the Elsa? It's safe. It's gathering data at coordinates KZ255 Y724. Okay. Momo and Jin, you go guard the Elsa. Right. Roger. Junior, enemy reinforcements. They don't know when to give up. How many are there this time? Just one. And it's after. The Elsa. You're on the way. What? <gasps> Be gone! Well, well. Your inexperience is beginning to show! Model? Momo, stay back! I'll take him down! <gasps> what? A black ES. It's agility. The swordsmanship. Uzuki. I thought that was you, Colonel. This location must mean a great deal, due to the fact that you've come all this way here to join us. And what if it does? It's not a phenomenon you can handle, and you'll never understand it's me. I'm going to send you and your ESs right to your grave! We told you! We don't know anything! And even if we did, we aren't about to tell you! <laughs> Please, don't waste your time. Besides, I think you've forgotten something. If you damage this body, then you'll lose your precious master. You're a URTV. It's nice to meet you. I am number 668. But you can call me Citrine. Lovely, isn't she? Her abilities are equal to and on par with those of Negredo. I trust you understand what that means. It would be a shame to have to see those beautiful faces twisted in pain now, wouldn't it? So I do hope that you're prepared to talk voluntarily. <laughs> One hundred years ago, you ignored my words and ended your own life. That 
is something I cannot accept. Is that the reason why you decided to choose this place? Exactly. This is the place where the curtain was closed. Now, let's move on to the Encore. Except this time, I will have the pleasure of finishing you off myself. Just like I did your own son. Eric! It's over, Eric. Oh no, it's just beginning. <laughs> no need to struggle. You should know by now it's impossible for you to harm me. <laughs> No, Captain, stop! <laughs> 